Hi everyone, so in this series of videos I just wanted to give you a bit more of an overview of the Facebook 360 workstation, particularly working within Reaper. Uh, we're going to explore in this particular video the tools that you need, so the plugins that you need to download and the digital audio workstation being Reaper that you need to download. Uh, and then we're going to have a little bit of a look at some learning resources that are available to you as well as some example work. Uh, that is available online for you to go and look at at your leisure. In future videos, we're also going to be looking at setting up your session and getting a bit of an idea of how to move around Reaper and how to actually use the program itself. Then we're going to go into a little bit more detail about Facebook's 360 Spatial Audio Workstation suite of plugins, how to use them, how to manipulate them and work with video within them, and then export all of that and encode it all together so that you have a package that you can deliver online uh, to anyone who wants to watch it from their home and on their phone. Right, so without further ado, I'm gonna move over to screen sharing and then we're gonna have a look at the software that you need and where to find it. Okay, so let me just disappear off into oblivion and come over to Chrome. So. All of the links to these things are in the description below. You can find them and go and get them yourself. They're all free to use and they're all cross-platform. So it doesn't matter if you're on Mac or Windows, you can use them on either and you don't have to pay a penny. So if we come to reaper.fm, this is Reaper's homepage. This is the digital audio workstation that we're going to use. Reaper is an incredibly powerful piece of software and it's incredibly cheap, if not free. So it's definitely worth having a look at and getting to know. So yeah, we're gonna go into the download Reaper link here where we can find links to download for Windows, Mac and Linux. Unfortunately, the other plugins that we're going to use do not work on Linux. So if you're one of the rare people who are making music on Linux, you're not going to be able to use this system. So just be aware of that. Um, however, if you're on Windows or Mac, uh, just click and download for free. You get a 60 day free trial or a license is 60 pounds. So it's really cheap. Um, so it's definitely worth looking at. Uh, the next tool that we're going to need, and I'm going to move, move over to my second tab, is the Facebook 360 Spatial Audio Workstation. So if you come to facebook360.fb.com forward slash spatial dash workstation, you'll be greeted by this homepage. And this is where you can find Facebook's uh, suite of 360 plugins. So if we click downloads down here, you'll see a few different options and you need to bear in mind that AAX are, is for Pro Tools only. And unless you're using Pro Tools Ultimate, you have no multi-channel capabilities. So that's why we're using Reaper and that's why we're going to ignore AAX add-ons and AAX plugins for the time being. Uh, and we're gonna scroll down until we see a uh, spatial workstation VST for either Mac or Windows. Download the one that is relevant to your system um, and install that okay again links are in the description below uh, and then the last thing we need is the ambio a to b converter from sennheiser so if we come to sennheiser.com forward slash ambio i believe uh, again links in the video description we will be greeted by this fella lying above some water having an amazing immersive experience uh, and we want to scroll down until we see this downloads link where we can find the plugins that are on offer. Again, these are all free and all cross platform. You can download all of these and play with these. They're quite interesting. Uh, but the one that we specifically need for this is the A to B converter. So if you just follow this link uh, into the A to B converter page and you can see download links for Windows and Mac down here. OK, so download all of those three resources, install them and you'll be able to follow along with the rest of the series. Um, and I just wanna point out a couple of other things that are definitely worth looking at if you want to explore any of these things a little bit deeper. So back to Reaper's website, there's a huge amount of resources here with video tutorials on every single subject you could possibly hope to learn about within Reaper. Um, it's a huge library of uh, tutorials uh, and they're really high quality. So it's definitely worth looking at if you want to dive a little bit deeper into Reaper. Uh, also, Facebook have got their user guide on the Facebook Incubator GitHub page. Again, links in the video description below. And this is just a written overview of what we're going to go through in the next few uh, episodes, next few videos. 
Uh, but you can learn how to use it with Pro Tools HD, Nuendo, Reaper, if that's something you want to do. There's overviews of all of the plugins and all that sort of stuff. So it's a really good source of information if you want to know more about the Facebook 360 stuff. We also have a CRT immersive audio page on Facebook, which you can go and join. And here we're going to post a lot of examples of 360 video content, audio content, that sort of stuff. Uh, and we also encourage you to share as much as possible the things that you're making as well. So do go and join that. Keep an eye on that. Uh, if you scroll through, you can see examples that I've made, that Tim's made. And hopefully by the time you're watching this, that some of you have made, which is uh, always far more exciting than seeing the stuff that we've made. Um, also, it's worth noting that you should have some example projects available on Moodle that you can download and kind of dig a little bit deeper into. Uh, if you go and find the link on Moodle, it shouldn't be too hard to find. Um, so just go over there and have a bit of a hunt. Uh, and if you have any questions about any of these things, then do just ask and feel free to use these videos as reference material. Just jump in if there's something that you're not quite sure about and see if the answer's in there. Uh, but yeah, until the next video, download those things, install them, and then come back for part two, and we'll dig a little deeper into Reaper itself. Cheers.